Hello everybody, this is Dr. Ali McGavel. Uh, today's lecture is about MRE quadrature amplitude modulation. We have covered PSK and now we look at QAM or QAM. Uh, basically, we look at MRE quadrature amplitude modulation. We look at the error probability. We look at the two main types of constellation, the cross constellation and the square constellation. We will be using the union bound to get to the probability of error. So let's get started. QAM is hybrid amplitude phase modulation. The diagram shown here is for QAM. Remember that in MRE phase or PSK, the envelope of the signal is assumed to be constant. The amplitude is constant. All signal points lie on a circle with fixed radius. This is not the case here points they don't have fixed envelope this is much greater than this one and they don't have they don't lie on a circle so if the in phase and the quadrature components are independent they are not the same signal points can lie anywhere in the 2d so like in this example so we have hybrid amplitude the difference is between these two points for example is in the phase in the angle and also in the amplitude. Both amplitude and phase of the carrier are changed according to the message symbol, and that's what we call MRE quadrature amplitude modulation, QAM. So our transmitted signal, if you look at the basic, if you look at the basic spacing between the symbols, you'll find out that the distance, the minimum distance is D. From here to here is D, from here to here. So the coordinate will be D over 2 and minus D over 2. This guy is going to be minus 3d over 2, and this is 3d over 2. So what is d over 2? It's the coordinate here, and the spacing is d. So we can represent all points on this square constellation as multiples of this basic uh, uh, multiplier. So we have ak, which is the x coordinate, related to the x coordinate, and then we have pk is, is the y coordinate of the points. Remember that the square root of e, the minimum distance, is related to d min divided by 2. Any signal point in the 2D space will have the following coordinate. It's multiple of the minimum distance. So 1 or 3 or and so on. So ai and bi are the multipliers. They are integer numbers and they are from 1 up to capital M. In the case of QAM, or hybrid amplitude phase modulation, the orthogonal bases are sine, cosine, and sine. Remember that this is one example of the possible basis, bases. Some textbooks might choose to have a minus sign here or there. So if you look at carefully, if you have number of points that's that's even uh, per symbol, for example, 64 quam, capital M64, which means capital, the number of bits per symbol it would be log base 2 of 64, which is 8. This number is even. So we can create 64 by multiplying 8 by 8, which result in a square constellation diagram. This is called square constellation. However, if the number of bits per symbol is odd, like for example, if I have eight possibilities, I cannot arrange them in a square. So we call it cross constellation. Or for example, the case of 32, log base 2 of 32 would be 5, which is not an even number, it's an odd. So we cannot make it in a square, so we have to drop some points those both of those are resulting in cross constellation so here we have defined the square constellation and the cross constellation it's important because when we look at the probability of error we will have we have to address the difference between the constellation diagrams now for the qam square constellation we can think of the square constellation as a 2d extension of the 1d for example mre square constellation is a Cartesian product of a one-dimension LREPM. If you think of, of pulse amplitude modulation or amplitude modulation, you'll find out if we have L of them, that's 4, which is a square root of 16 here, we can create this constellation, which is squared by Cartesian product of this constellation. We can order them, order pairs of MREQM coordinates according to the following. So we'll take where, uh, let's say here, the case, case L is equal to 4. So we'll go from 
minus 4 plus 1 which is minus 3 we'll start from here and then you start substituting for L in this example L is equal to 4 and in that case we can create all possible coordinates for the for the for the product here so an example says 16 QAM signal constellation draw the signal space and corresponding LPM constellation and use gray coding and that's what we have done so this is the 16 and this is the 4 p.m. The Cartesian product of the 4 p.m. is we take the same square here, but we substitute for L. Uh, we are substitute 4. So you get minus 4 plus 1, which is minus 3, and so on. So in this slide, we're showing an example where we can think of QM as an extension of PM. Now, if you look at the probability of error we can think we can write the probability of error in terms of the energy but now the energy is not constant so we can define e naught to be the distance to be related to the distance of the minimum distance so the energy for these points if you call them e naught it will be d over 2 or the minimum distance divided by 2 which is square root of e so square root of A here is, is, this, is this definition. Now, if you want to find the average, then you have to find the average energy here, average energy here, average energy there, and then you have to average out. Or you need to find the energy in every point and then average them out. Of course, we can utilize the symmetry by finding the energy here and multiplying by 4. Okay, we have an expression for that, luckily, and this expression is given here. So if you tell me what is your minimum distance, I can find, I can relate to that to E naught, and from there I can find E average, which is average energy per symbol for the case of uh, QM. So if you open the bracket and do the summation, we can finally write this in terms of 2M minus 1 times E naught, where, where capital M is the number of constellations. So, so if you want an exercise, please write your answer in the comment section. Find the average transmitted energy for 16. So you just substitute in terms of d-min. Of course, the answer would be a function of d-min or e naught. Now, we can use this fact to approximate the average symbol error probability. We can relate to the as an extension of LP, LPAM. So for the single dimension pulse amplitude modulation, we, we can derive this expression. I'm not deriving it here, but I'm just recalling this expression. And from there, we can compare with QM and extend that to the ex, this expression. Now, remember now that in, in PM, the minimum distance is uh, one important characteristic of, of, of the constellation. But here, we have to read things uh, to the average energy per symbol. All right, so we're not showing the derivation, but you can see the similarity between the PM and the QM. Of course, for QM, we have points inside, points at the edge, and finding the probability will not be that easy. It's not dif that difficult, but just to save time, we're getting to the final result. Now, if it, if the constellation is, uh, if log base 2 of M is not even, then, of course, we cannot make a square. So we're just sharing with you here a systematic way of generating the constellation. So to generate MQM with odd number of n bits per symbol, then we can construct QM with n minus 1, which is square. For example, if n equal to 5, I can uh, use, I can generate, which is which results in 32 points. I can start by finding for n minus 1, which is 4, which is 16. So we can build the inner square. Then we extend at each side, 2 raised to the power n minus 1, which is 2 raised to the power 5 uh, minus 3, which is 4 points here, 4 points there, 4 points there, and we get the constellation. So the total points, of course, should be 2 raised to the power n. The inner points and 4 times the edges, which result to 2 raised to the power n. So in summary, this slide shows you how to build uh, QM cross for cross constellation if the number of bits per symbol is odd. Now, looking at 
can we use a product of PM constellation to express QM cross constellation? We did that for the square, but for the cross, we cannot do that because it's not direct. You cannot generate uh, the cross uh, constellation from Cartesian product of, of a linear. So no, and it will be complicated. It will complicate the calculation of the average uh, symbol or, or probability. Now, if for the case of EB over N0 or the signal to noise ratio is, is high, we can approximate the average simple error rate for the case of QM cross constellation. And we got the following expression. I'd like you to compare with the case of PAM and with the case of square constellation. So this equation for the case of square constellation and this equation is for the case of cross constellation. If you have cross constellation, it might not be possible to use gray coding perfectly. So with this, we have summarized what QM is. We looked at square, we looked at cross constellation. We showed you the final result for the probability of error. And we show that uh, the symbol error rate. And we show how that is basically extension to some extent of, of the linear uh, or the single base constellation for the LPAM. We'll continue with different modulation techniques and uh, we'll summarize them. We'll have some problems to solve uh, at the end. So please uh, be with us in the coming videos. Thank you for being good listeners.